Good morning. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm taking you guys to brunch. I'm in Kyle's car. We are heading down west. We're actually in west already. We're at the gas station just getting some gas. But we are going to a new restaurant, one of the newest restaurants actually in Fredericksted. It's called Seven Strand. So we're going to try it out for brunch for the first time today. And then after that, we're going to go to Dorsch. And then I have someone who's going to drop off something special. So I'm going to share that with you guys later. And it's just going to be an all around good day. And I'm excited to take you guys with me, so stay tuned. Welcome. Today is Monday. This morning I got a lot done. Let me just give you the rundown of what I've done and then we'll talk about what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day, okay? On Mondays, I usually take the day to start planning out what I'm doing for the week and making sure that I can get everything that I need to get done for the week done. So it's pretty much like a scheduling day. But this is the last week of the month. Actually, today is the last day of the month. So there's a few extra things that I need to get done. So usually around this time of the month, I'm finalizing my clients' um, content calendars. So I have been working on a bunch of graphics today for um, the last bit of a content calendar for my last client that I need to send out. Um, but I'm actually having a meeting with them tomorrow. So I'm not going to send it out to them because we're going to be finalizing some things on our call tomorrow and then I'll um, finish up the last bit of things and get it out to them. I've been working on a bunch of graphics, I had some additional social posts that I needed to do, so not anything that was a part of their content calendar, but basically stuff to help with engagement. So I did a bunch of that this morning. Some additional things that I want to get done today is that I had to work on a special flyer. So this is kind of like outside of like normal social media stuff, just like a flyer that can be used for promotions, but that's like in line with the social media content. So on the same theme, we just want to make sure that their look is the same across all platforms. I do have some website edits that I need to make for this client as well. It's the end of the month, so I need to start getting my budget together for next month, going through all of my receipts and all my purchases for last month so that I can make my budget update finance business update video for you guys, um, which I'm trying to stay on top of and do one every month. So make sure you stay tuned for that video um, for February's video. I really want to plan out my content for March, something that has happened since 
I started this business is I've been focusing so much on everyone else's content that I really haven't had much time to focus on my own but I'm gonna try to get it together uh, so that I plan ahead for my stuff because I have the most fun when I'm able to be creative with my own content so I really want to make sure that I prioritize that this month and I get out some content schedule some shoots or even if that just means like me going out on my own to take photos or videos of myself that's fine but we're gonna get it done this month there's a new local business that's selling graze boxes um, so I have the chance to try it out to give them my feedback basically they're gonna be doing this with different people to see what they think take the feedback make whatever changes they need to make and officially launch so I am excited to show you guys what came in my grades box I'll leave all the information for them down below uh, so that you can check them out if you want to and yeah it's gonna be a good time today my YouTube channel has been growing so much we are at 831 subscribers which is wild if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe um, and yeah, I'm really grateful for all of you who are here. Um, I do have some updates for you guys, but I'll share those with you when we go and have our picnic, okay? So basically, I'm gonna use the opportunity, since I have this graze box, to go take myself on a picnic, literally just out in the backyard, and just relax for a little bit after I get some more work done. So for right now, I'm going to work on my budget, um, going through all of my receipts and stuff, um, and documenting that especially on the business side so if you have not done your budget get it out get your work out let's do it together okay and you guys are really helping to keep me accountable honestly so thanks for watching these videos I actually decided to move inside because it's way too hot out in the living room I was at the dining table working but it's too hot out there so back in the room um, I'm at the desk have my double monitor so uh, let's get this work done together um, like I said, we're gonna work on the budget, work on sorting out all the financial stuff, so getting all the receipts sorted and where they need to go so that when tax time comes up, we are all set. I'm pretty much done. I went through my three credit cards, my checking account, put in all of my expenses. Um, it's not so bad from what I see right now. I got to actually go through and like assign the um, categories and then I'll be able to see like the total amount spent and like how much I spent in each category. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm done doing that. Okay, so it's a lot later now. I got a lot of work done feeling very productive but I'm outside I'm actually gonna do some brainstorming I started doing this thing called mind mapping which I'm sure a lot of you are probably familiar with it I do that to help brainstorm some of the content that I'm gonna be doing for the upcoming month I want to make a habit of it and start doing it every week so every Monday I'm gonna take some time outside of my normal environment and just brainstorm some content ideas um, but I do have this with me this is the Grey's box. I told you guys that I got a special delivery yesterday, so I'm gonna open this up and snack on this while I do my brainstorming. And if you are interested, it's actually a new local business here in St. Croix, so I'm going to leave all of their information down below in the description box. So if you're interested in getting a Grey's box for yourself, you can go there to try it out. Wow, it is packed. So I'm pretty sure I've already talked to you guys about this in the past but I use Notion to basically plan out my entire life and I have the Notion app on my phone which is very convenient because I don't feel like bringing my laptop outside here right now. So I'm going to go onto my Notion, continue my brainstorming process and basically put them into my different content pillars which is kind of like the categories of posts that I'm focusing on um, with my content. So I'm gonna do all of that and I will start a time lapse now. You guys can just relax with me while I eat. I'm starving and get some more work done. time every Monday to do it. Today 
I got distracted again but um, I have a few things that I want to work on this week so very excited about it make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see what comes out of this and the dogs are getting really loud and annoying so I'm gonna head back inside but I did have one more update that I wanted to give you guys last week I got a call back from one of the clients that I told you guys about um, well I told you that I reached out to some people I actually started reaching out to people that I think would be good potential clients and I heard back from one had a meeting last week and we are talking I hope that I'll have some more updates for you guys by the end of the week um, I hope that it goes well if not you know it's fine I'm just gonna keep reaching out I'm just excited for that I had a little bit of a breakdown last week I did not film it because I have enough videos of me crying on the internet I had a little bit of a meltdown because there have been some changes for next month so I'll update you guys on that maybe later on when I feel like talking about it some more for right now the work day is pretty much done it's 4 46 I'm gonna head back inside and make I'm actually pretty full now this box was pretty good um, I am not done with it yet like there's still a lot of stuff left in there so that'll be a snack for later but for now this will be the end of the vlog for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys I'm having a productive day work-wise I got a lot done had some calls now I'm just playing the waiting game um, so I'm waiting to hear back from that person I talked to you guys about yesterday and then I also had another call today there have been a lot of changes one of my clients is switching up some of their services but we're still staying on with each other gonna figure things out work it out as changes happen I'm ready to pivot so making it work I had my calls they went well so I'm just playing the waiting game basically waiting to see what's gonna happen am I gonna get some new clients I'll keep you guys updated I did not go to the gym I have my gym clothes on it didn't happen it's too late now it's not too late I could technically go if I really wanted to go but I don't want to go right now so I actually just pulled up my Amazon Associates and apparently I've made a sale so I'm gonna share it with you guys because it's only 28 cents but it's 28 cents that I didn't have before Wow so it's actually not anything that I made a link for but basically if you guys open my link and I think if you make a purchase within a certain period of time even if it's not something that I promoted on my YouTube channel um, it still gives me commission from that so I made 28 cents off of a six dollar seven dollar purchase that someone made buying a jiffy cutter knife like a box cutter so thanks thanks for opening my link and making a purchase if you guys want to make a purchase and support me this way links are always in the description so yeah that's all I really wanted to update you on because I saw that I made a sale and it was pretty exciting even if it's only 28 cents I actually got most of the stuff done that I really wanted to get done by tomorrow so tomorrow I might have kind of a chill day and I might go do some fun stuff out of the house so stay tuned for the next clip I guess hello everyone it's Thursday I'm prepping to go into the gym we're trying it today again I know I'm gonna have to pay my bill today which is my first time paying a bill for a single membership because while Oh my god, there are people. Okay, yeah, so Kareem. Oh my god, there's so much sand. <laughs> so you know you go to the beach a lot. But yeah, so Kareem and I. Is that Nari? It is Nari. Uh, okay, anyway. Kareem and I used to do the couple of membership together to get the discount. But now that he's gone, I decided to just go on an individual membership and sort myself out. So. That means I'm paying a little bit more every month, which will hopefully motivate me to go more often. And if you have not been to the gym today, or this week, um, or this month, I hope that this inspires you to force yourself to go. Because I really don't want to go, but I've been feeling pretty trash, and I know that when I go to the gym, I actually end up feeling better afterwards. So, we're going to do it, and we're going to feel good. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be great. And we're just doing a quick workout today. Uh, I found this like Stairmaster challenge thing. So I'm gonna do that and then I don't think I'm gonna do any like 
weights today because I I'm honestly just not feeling great but we'll see we'll see like I'll get through the Stairmaster thing and then we'll see what I feel like doing okay I'm gonna go now I'll see you guys after good morning today is Friday it's not morning anymore it's actually two o'clock um, I've actually been working for a couple hours from bed but I finally decided to move over to my desk as you guys saw literally the first thing that I did not the first thing but the first thing that I did this morning was watch the love is blind finale have you seen it let me know what your thoughts are in the comments I really love the discussion that we had on the video that I posted yesterday about love is blind and the tinder swindler so I'm always watching all these shows so we can always catch up in the comments. I don't want to ruin it for everyone, but I just have to say the finale really gave me what I was looking for, the drama that I needed. I still hate the person that started all the drama, but I made my feelings clear about him from the beginning, so no surprise there. But anyways, let me just tell you guys what I'm up to today. So today is Friday, and usually I try to keep Fridays kind of light, but I get a lot done still. Um, I have a few things on my to-do list. A proposal that I need to get done so I have to get back um, to some people through emails so I have basically been going back and forth about um, just kind of clarifying things through email about a proposal that I sent out last week um, so I'm very excited about that it seems like things are moving forward I'm hoping that everything works out and I get some new clients in so I will update you guys I feel like I've been saying that a lot in this video but I really will update you guys when I actually have something to update you on right now it's just like a bunch of back and forth and I'm really nervous about it I feel like it's just imposter syndrome really just like kicking in but I know that what I am putting out is good quality work and I'm just excited to hopefully have some new clients who want to take advantage of it so yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm also really excited and feeling very positive about it all. And yeah, I just hope that it works out. So yeah, working on the proposals, getting back to people through emails. I think that's pretty much like the pressing things that I have to do today. So I just want to get all that done before 3 o'clock. It's 2.26 right now. And I've been working for a couple hours from bed. So I'm pretty much done with most things that I needed to do. I'm just kind of reviewing and then I'll send everything out. And then... I'll get back to you guys, we can do some fun stuff. I'm actually going out tonight, very excited about that. Um, I don't know if I'll take you guys out, I don't know if you guys like being brought out with me, but if you do, then I'll for sure make some more like Night Out in St. Croix videos. Um, I'm also trying to plan a trip soon, so if that works out, I'll also update you guys on that. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying these vlogs, even though it's just like little bits from my days here and there. I hope that you are learning something from it. If anything, I hope you're getting inspired to do whatever it is that you want to do and live your life the way that you want to live it. I feel like that's the underlying advice that I want you to get from my videos. A lot of times, we just do what we're doing. If we're like a machine kind of doing what we thought we were supposed to do but you can live a life doing what makes you happy i'm trying to make that happen and it might be a journey to get there but i feel like if we just keep putting in the work we're gonna get to where we want to get to eventually might take some time might have to sacrifice some things on the way there but it will work out so that's pretty much my long intro of the day and i'm gonna get back to work so work with me if you need some motivation Okay, so I never checked this other email. This is like my personal email where like a bunch of spam stuff go. I just got approved for the Amazon Associates program, which means that I made enough sales to be approved for it. So thank you guys so much for buying anything from the links down in the description box. When you make a purchase down there, I get a certain percentage of the sale. So it doesn't charge anything extra. I just get kind of like a commission off of the sales. Even if you don't want to buy anything that's specifically in my description box, if you are planning to buy anything from Amazon, if you click on one of my links and obviously like you decide you don't want to buy that thing, once you make a purchase on Amazon within 24 hours after clicking my link, I'll get commission off of any purchases that you make. So if at any point you're making any Amazon purchases or thinking about making any orders just come click on my link before you 
make that order okay thanks guys i'm really excited that i now have like officially been accepted into this program which means that i have this other stream of income that's going to be coming in and it's just taking me one step closer to my goals of just being able to work from anywhere do what i want to do and like still be a hard working person and feel successful but you know in my own way so thank you very excited and also while i'm at it um we are at 838 subscribers on youtube which is it just blows my mind every time i look look at these updates because we're growing so quickly thanks you guys for supporting make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and yeah let's just continue working but that was just some good news that i saw as i opened my email I'm done sending out my proposal I don't know why I'm talking like that but I sent out my proposal um, got accepted to Amazon affiliates uh, I need to send out an invoice because for some reason actually I know why I did my invoice in advance and didn't schedule it <clears throat> usually I have it scheduled to go out by a certain time and it didn't go out so I need to send it out manually I use FreshBooks to do all of my accounting keeping track of my expenses uh, let me not say accounting because I, uh, I have my accountants added on here for tax time but I keep track of my expenses all my payments I prefer not to do payments through here actually because I don't like that they take out a percentage of the payment especially when it's like short term contracts and the actual pay might not be that high i don't like them taking out a percentage so i used to pick up prefer to pick up those like checks in person i need to figure out a way around that so either picking up checks in person or getting paid through this so they can pay with their credit card or like a bank transfer but i just don't like how much they take out like the percentage that they charge in order to do that so if you guys know of any other way to accept payments that doesn't include like PayPal or Zelle or like any of those things let me know I think I can actually do Zelle with my new bank account that I opened that's a big update I finally opened my second bank account like second business bank account um, I'm still gonna keep the old one um, basically use it as like a savings account but the new one is what I'm gonna be using for all of my stuff going forward because the old one is just annoying very annoying um, I'll obviously update you guys on like my entire experience with the banking system for businesses here in the Virgin Islands. Um, but yeah, for now I really like having the new account open and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so I need to send out this invoice. I don't know why I keep rambling on. Hi guys, I'm here with Alex. Um, you haven't been on the vlogs in a really long time. Um, I'm gonna post the last video that I did with him up here so you guys can go see old Alex and me hanging out. Um, we are at E&D's right now getting some food and I have not brought you guys here before. So I'm gonna show you guys the food that we get. I've heard it's really good. Alex loves it. That's why we're here. So good. Yeah. We're spending the day in Fredericksted today. Let's get in lunch and maybe some ice cream later, which Alex can have because... Do you want to explain why you can have ice cream? I gave it up for Lent. If you don't know what that is, Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're just waiting for our food now. Alex and I are back in Fredericksted town now. We're on the waterfront. Beautiful. We just went to Yuka, which is a restaurant over there. Over there. Um, and we got some drinks, got some local drinks. So Alex got Tambran. <laughs> and I got cherry. 
My favorites. She got both on her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's a really beautiful day. It was actually, the day started off pretty rainy. So there's still some rain clouds, but it's clearing up, looking really nice. Very calm seas. Looks like we have a couple boats going out over there. So I got grilled mahi, a grilled mahi plate. So I got rice, there's a salad, I got coleslaw in here, there's beans here, and what else? Strunny cake. What did you get, Alex? I got chicken with seasoned rice, salad, and mac and cheese. That looks really good. Alex and I have just been in the car talking all for a long time now. Catching it's been up. it's been hours. <laughs> uh, we had a really nice sunset. Maybe I should have done a time lapse of that. That would be nice, right? Uh, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks, guys, for watching. And make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you leave me a comment. You can go follow Alex and Sully. I'll leave them linked in the description box if you want to see their adventures traveling around the world. Um, most recently Mexico. Yeah. And I'll see you in my next one.